for borne away in deadened air may go the sudden shut of loss round something nearly at an end and what cohered in it across the years the unique random blend of families and fashions so with the ambulance carrying the dead body and the doors of the ambulance shutting the air the atmosphere itself it takes on a very gloomy and bleak kind of an outlook and this uh, shutting of the doors makes the people who are looking at the ambulance realize a sense of loss the the body which is being carried in the ambulance it breaks a link with the death of that person a cord is broken a cord of relationships a cord of families a cord of a way of life that that person had enjoyed which had made him linked to the world to the people around him that link is broken and as soon as the people who are standing and watching they realize that that with the body being carried away in the ambulance and with the breaking of that cord there is a sense of loss and with this realization another realization dawns upon them and that is of meaninglessness of life all along the man who had been living a very active life related to so many people around him all of a sudden that activity it comes to a standstill and he is no more there and with his passing away the people who are watching when they utter the word poor soul in fact they are they are being sympathetic towards themselves they are in fact uttering that sigh of sorrow for themselves because death which is inevitable death which picks up randomly death which is an ultimate finality is going to come to them as well like the body which is being carried away some day they will also be carried in a similar way in this stanza we also notice another thing that is the pragmatics of life they are contrasted with the inevitability of death in the second stanza the hustle and bustle of life that we saw here also by the usage of such words as families and fashions and these two words which led to a coherent kind of a relationship with the world and with the people around it is all contrasted with a sudden shut of loss there at last begin to loosen far from the exchange of love to lie unreachable inside a room the traffic pass to let go by brings closer what is left to come and dulls to distance all we are so with the death of a person what happens is that that linkage is broken that cord which had tied that person with the outside world with the families and with the fashions of the world that is loosened so as the ambulance it starts moving with the moving of the ambulance on a literal level is in fact the drawing of a distance between that person and the outside world and 
he is lying unreachable inside a room far away from the exchange of love far away from the people who loved him far away from the customs and traditions of the world which he practiced he is now lying unreachable inside a room and the ambulance which philip larkin had compared to a confessional again here by the usage of the word unreachable is again trying to tell us that this person whose dead body is being carried in the ambulance he is now far away from him, the people whom he loved or who loved him he is unreachable and like the confessional room which nobody can reach just the conf- people when the just the person who is confessing he is only there all alone in that room similarly in this in this ambulance this person is also all alone resigned himself to fate and this ambulance it becomes a confessional room for him where he has submitted himself before god the traffic parts to let go by and as the ambulance moves away and the traffic it parts to let go the ambulance this ambulance is being brought closer what is left to come that is the final destination this ambulance is carrying the person to his final dest- destination and for a moment the pause that people had taken from their everyday routines from their everyday activities the children who were playing in uh, the streets by the doorsteps of their houses the women who were busy shopping the dinners that were being cooked in the kitchen so amidst all that hustle and bustle when they stopped for a while to look at the ambulance they realized a sense of loss at the departure of this body and the body which is moving towards its final destination which is being brought closer what is left to come that is the final final room and dulls to distance all we are and for a moment what had made us realize that we are also going to face the same kind of fate this all episode of the ambulance coming and carrying away the dead body it makes the people realize about their own final destination it makes them realize about the <clears throat> certainty of death it makes them realize about the closeness of death death can snatch us at any moment we don't know the time we don't know the place and then the randomness of death it can pick anybody so particular example of a dead body being carried in an ambulance philip larkin is drawing a general truth a universal truth moving from an from a particular example he goes on to conclude a general truth about the inevitability of death about the randomness of death and about the finality of death and philip larkin he is uh, very fond of doing so he takes a particular case and from that particular example he draws universal truths and um, i would like to quote here a poet james shirley uh, he in his poem death the leveler he says could invite it come as open the glories of our blood and state are shadows not substantial things there is no armor against fate death lays his icy hand on kings 
Scepter and crown must tumble down, and in the dust be equal made with the poor crooked scythe and spade. So Philip Larkin here has picked up a theme which has touched the hearts of many poets before him, and he has, in a very simple language, in a very conversational tone, he has brought this reality from a very different angle. Thank you.